Seth Davis, JT Marlin, some great, great memories from my childhood. Today we're going to do a first, I'm going to talk about The Boiler Room, one of the movies that I watched growing up and one that all of us traders should probably see. Now I've never done this before, but I love to talk movies and I figure the only way you know if something's gonna work or not work is you gotta just do it in the first place. So yes, I'm gonna try some movie reviews, probably just stick with movies about the market. But the first one I'm gonna do is on Boiler Room. Came out in 2000 and one of them where, I think it was the first one that I ever saw even before Wall Street. And I got it in high school as a gift from my cousin and I really had no idea what anything was, not, let alone the stock market. And I remember watching it and thinking, yeah, okay, that was all right. But now that I have gotten involved in the market, and especially now that I know what's going on, uh, you know, I think it's great, and I think it's, there's just so many things to laugh at. And with that being said, it's a pretty good movie still, even if you have no idea what's going on with the market. But if you do know, if you're a trader and have been involved in the market, then yeah, you're probably gonna get a lot more out of this movie. Uh, and either way, it's still a good, enjoyable time, but definitely those with experience in the market, you know, it, it's gonna have that next level of enjoyment. So this movie in a nutshell follows Seth Davis and that's played by Gino Ribisi. I think that's how you say his last name. But he is just a, a younger kid and he's running some probably illegitimate businesses. And then some brokers show up at his business and they say, hey, come work for us at our firm. And their firm is a smaller shop and I'll just leave it at that. And their business practices are a little bit uh, different than what you would see in a lot of mainstream brokers. And then from that point forward, things just uh, get kind of interesting. And this movie has probably one of the best speeches delivered ever, and it's done by Ben Affleck. And the, these newer traders are in this conference room. Ben Affleck watch, walks in, and I'll just leave it at that. A great speech, still makes me laugh. And sometimes I'll just YouTube the speech just because it, it, it's funny and it's, I, I just, it's good stuff. I'll just leave it at that. Now, one complaint I have with the movie is just how they portray trading as a whole, the stock market as a whole, in regards to, you know, drugs, sex, rock and roll, you know, all that stuff. It's like, all right, sure, that stuff happens, but there are plenty of just normal people out there too that trade the markets that are not participating in those sorts of things, you know, myself included. And it's, it makes sense why people get the impression of, oh, you wanna you know, just party, you wanna live the, the high-paced lifestyle, then the, the stock market, that's why you have to get involved. In. No wonder why so many people think that when you see movies like this. But again, if you take a step back and you understand if you've been a part of the market, and you know, no, that's not, you, know, you don't have to choose that route, it's still pretty entertaining to just watch these guys uh, go about the, their means and how they, uh, how they venture the markets, how they venture their lives. In terms of kind of the, the story, the story is one that you've seen many times before in terms of person gets sucked into something, they love it, eh, is this really right? And then they try to redeem themselves. How they redeem themselves, uh, you know, and kind of how the movie writes its way out of the situation is, okay, it, it's nothing very clever. It's nothing that's like, oh, wow, I, I did not see that coming. With the way some characters set up, you kind of can see the pieces and how they're gonna come together before they actually do. But again, this is movie did not go for like some Academy Award or anything like that. It's purely for entertainment. And you know, for us as traders, one that you know, a lot of things can be related to, especially in the world of penny stocks. Uh, if, that mean, if penny stocks means anything to you, then you'll definitely get a kick out of some of these scenes. And really for all of us as traders and the whole emotional thing about how trading, how the markets can be emotional, I do like the one story arc that goes through kind of the overall theme here showing that uh, you know, if you let greed get the best of you, if you listen to those greed voices or listen to the brokers in this situation, then you know, yeah, it can turn into some really crappy situations. My final nitpick is the ending of this movie is kind of just like it happens and then it is what it is and it's you know closing credits. So is it a terrible ending? I'm not gonna say that. It just kind of happens and then it's over. But overall, the movie's fine. I would recommend it uh, if you're looking for just some entertainment. But like I said, you will get even an extra level of entertainment out of it if you have experience in the markets. Uh, a warning, it's definitely rated R. So if you're not a, a fan of choice words, then yeah, maybe watch like the TV version of it or something. Uh, but there's a lot of different things uh, that you, know, you can relate to as a trader and actually learn from. 
Again, going back to the overall theme of greed, and if you listen to the greed, it can take you to some pretty miserable situations. Uh, but overall, good movie. I'd say check it out, and uh, you know, let me know your thoughts below if you have seen it. Uh, you know, what was your favorite part? There's a lot of good quotes in it, so maybe what was your favorite quote in the movie? Uh, but let me know, and if this uh, review does get some good feedback, if it does get some thumbs up, then I'll come back and do, there's a lot of stock market movies out there that I could review and talk about. Uh, so, you know, click the like button if you enjoyed this, leave comments below, and we'll see if uh, this series picks up and if I do any more movie reviews.